what is success to you? And the reply that I got, when you look back at the history of life, if the memories bring a smile to your face, you have succeeded in life. Everything else is secondary, redundant and mundane. Does our history as an Indian bring smile to our faces? Certainly yes. Ours is a country which was the first one to produce buttons, though not for sewing or stitching purposes, but for decorative purposes, purposes 2000 years ago in the city of Mohanjadaro. We were the ones to create first prefabricated homes and shelters during the Mughal era. We were the first ones until a couple of hundred years ago when diamond mines were discovered in Brazil. We were the highest producers of diamonds. The list goes on and on. While Marconi may have taken the credit for what he produced, but the basic credit goes to somebody who was an Indian. Over a period of time, people came as invaders. What were they looking for? They were looking for this credibility that this country had. Tom Friedman said, if you are too costly and if you are too slow in life, somewhere you will be lying like a road shot a road kill before you realize what you hit what hit you on the road perhaps that summarizes the history why we had to come down in the graph and why we could not go up where we are we had an elite which was alienated from our traditions and history we had an intellectual aristocracy which probably did not understand the need of the times. We had an economy which was too slow, which was infidel to the requirements of the past, which was not prepared for the requirements of future. As a result, we are where we are. Perhaps some way we also fail to recognize the people. And that is why every Indian who received a Nobel Prize for some invention or discovery was the one who was not living in India. Those living in India when they got Nobel Prizes, recently to the extent of Mr. Kailash Satyarthi, he worked for 34 years before he got a Nobel Prize. In those 34 years, he got eight awards, none of them from India. In those 34 years, 4,000 Padma Awards were given to different people, 25 Bharat Ratnas were given to different people, but none to him. He was sponsored for the Nobel Prize, not by Government of India, not by an NGO, not by any state government, but by the European Parliament. That is where somewhere, ladies and gentlemen, down the line, we lost focus. And today, Make in India is an imperative, it is a need. It is not a concept floated by a government. If we do not look at it, we do not progress. We are not in the way forward. Today we are talking of statistics of China. Today, when we talk of statistics of China, our average manufacturing labor in India earns 0.92 US dollars every hour. In China, he earns 3.92 US dollars. 498 million Indians are available in the manufacturing sector for working. There are 798 in China. Manufacturing sector in China contributes 30% to the GDP of the country. In our country, 12 to 15%. Over the last few years, the average manufacturing wages have gone up in India by 1.2% in China by 15%. Well, these are all statistics. In the 1980s, China was ranked number seven in the manufacturing scale. It overshot Brazil. It overshot Italy. 
it overshot united states it overshots uk which took 150 years to reach that stage and now it is the highest ranked country in the manufacturing market but having said so probably this country is now on the downward spiral of the graph the manufacturing units are moving around to vietnam korea and such like philippines indonesia and such like countries even south america this is the opportunity for us to grab over the last 60 years we have grown up into a slow moving socialist economy it is time perhaps and what was done in the early 90s probably if it was made a catalyst 20 years ago we would have been a china in the global economic forum today it is the need of the hour that we grab this opportunity and we look at things in the positive perspective what is required for make of make in india is good infrastructure availability of cheap labor availability of skilled labor a strong and stable fiscal regime and least governing and interfering government system and machinery perhaps we are gradually heading towards all these things when i say china is on the downward of the spiral of the graph the manufacturing units are moving out people who were laborers 20 years ago form part of the middle class in the chinese economic forum the sophistication in the manufacturing units is increasing six sigma like things probably are being noticed a little more than others that is the reason why today there is an opportunity now when we look at make in india are we looking at make in india are we looking at make at india are we looking at made by india Ladies and gentlemen, if you just look at make in India, or because of cheap labor and availability of skilled labor and cheaper products, if manufacturing units move to India like they did to China, probably 20 years from now, we will be facing the same situation that we did. In a country obsessed with IITs and IIMs, Satya Nadal may not have thought about being a CEO in India. but he is the ceo of microsoft we need to cater for such like things today it should not be just make in india or made by india or manufactured in india we should develop research units why does android apple such like things develop in united countries like united states that is the concept which we need to develop when we develop the concept of make in india in india in terms of research in terms of development in terms of growth versace and armani must be born in india they should not come to india and visit a textile factory and say these are the specifications thousand thread count you will make this product i will buy it you will not sell it in india i will label it such then the money goes where it is it does it doesn't stay those people should be born in india or they should be produced by the system in india ladies and gentlemen it's not difficult at all to do that because and each one can do it or few can do it because microsoft apple and google were developed by amateurs freshers titanic was made by professionals and you know what happened to it windows is growing even much after titanic was sunk have a nice day ladies and gentlemen enjoy yourself